Okay. So what I did to make uh, the pentagon is um, I had to use some trigonometric functions, sine and cosine. All right. Um, but all of this up here is just defining some points. And if I copy my um, region plot, move it down here, and I'm just going to go to region plot. I'm going to set k equal 1. You'll see y in a second. You see there's a formula, there's a k in here. Uh. And I'm going to say, no, I don't want k to go from 0 to 2.28. So this is just a two-dimensional region plot with one single value of k, and you hopefully will see what? Depending, Depending on. on. Yeah, is that on screen? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, move it up a little bit. Now, I'm going to change k to have a value of 2, and you tell me what happens to the pentagon. It should get bigger, I think. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yes. So these are my slices. Um, so what I'm doing to make the shape up here is I'm defining some points. Uh, y minus mx, what does that, y, so if I have a y equals mx plus b, what kind of equation is that? Um, algebraic. That is an algebraic equation. What kind of curve, curve does that describe? y equals mx plus b, do you know? Um, don't think it's a parabola. No? What is it? It's a line. It's a line. It's a line. And so I have to describe, to describe a pentagon region, how many lines do I have to describe? You have to have five lines. I have to have five lines. And the neat thing is, although this code looks very complicated, this is just describing some points, some values, some slopes. Notice there's only four of them. One of the one of the slope one of the lines is um, has no slope, so that makes life very easy. And then I have one, two, three, four. This is the easy one. Y is greater than this number, so that's just a, a line with no slope. Yeah. Notice there's no x in this equation. The slope. Uh, always attaches to the x. And here's my fifth one. And what the k does is it changes how big the pentagon is. And then when I, instead of just making it k all by itself, here I'm making it a function 1 minus cosine k. And that creates the curved shape. But to make the flat shape, I did 1 minus absolute value of k. So have I gotten rid of all my cosines? Yep. Yep. Okay, and now I just need to make k go from minus 1 to 1. Uh, so if I, if I do 1 minus absolute value of k, and k goes from minus 1 to 1, what's the starting value of 1 minus absolute value of k? Zero. Zero. So that's going to make a pentagon uh, with size of zero. So it'll just be a point. Okay. And is, can, can you answer this question? As k goes from minus 1 to 1, what's going to be the largest value of 1 minus absolute value of k? Um, 1. Why? Because the absolute value can never go larger than 1, so it, and uh, you want it to get smaller to have the bigger number, so you just go to 0. That's right. Very good. So let's, well, let's take a look. So we should have a big pentagon in the middle and pentagons with size 0 on either either side. So let's look and see what we find here. That's just got to run for just a little bit. Is it running? Yes. Yeah. Usually it says running up at the top when it's running, so I'm actually a little confused. Oh, there it is. Okay. So there's our flat pentagon. Hmm. 
that, or sorry, our flat shape with the cross sections being pentagons. That's so it looks cute. like our first, our first shape. Yeah, that that in fact was exactly our first shape. It's a little distorted on the on the screen because the x and y values are going from minus two to two, so that's a distance of four, and the k value is going from minus one to one, so it's a little okay. stretched out on the screen. But can you think of another function that's one at minus one? That has a value of one at minus one and a value of one also at one. And we could use that function instead of absolute um, value. Square it. Okay, so let's do one minus k squared. What do you think this is going to look like? Hmm. Might have some curves in it since we, were, we have squares. Okay. Maybe the lines will be curved instead of two straight lines. Lines will be curved instead of two straight lines. Like what do you mean the two straight lines? Can you point to them on the screen before they go away? Where you go here and here, maybe there's just going to be a curve. Ah, okay, great. Sorry, we just have to wait. Should we just tell a tell a funny story about our dog no. or something while we wait? Oh, look. So. I mean, it actually look like, looks like there's sort of... I'm going to make this a little bigger so it shows up well on the screen. So it sort of looks like it curves in a little on the sides and there's no really line going across, but it there still has the two folds in the tree. Yeah. It's pretty neat. So all we, all we really needed to be able to make these shapes is the coordinates uh, for the edges of a pentagon. Yeah. And then we had to figure out a way to vary them, uh, and then how to be inside of that shape. And uh, when you were inside of that shape, you made a nice little pentagon. Nice. So it's a little bit of algebra, a little bit of trigonometry to get these coordinates, and um, that's really it. Yeah. So that's actually a great math lesson um, in these shapes. So it's fun, huh? Yeah. yeah. Good work this morning, guys.